Hello everybody, this is Mike Dietrich speaking. Uh, today I would like to give you a quick overview on how to patch my 11204 database with the July 2018 patch set update to PSU. So first of all I switch to my 11G environment in our hands-on lab. Uh, first step is I have to shut down my 11 database which I'm doing here right now. Once the database is down and I pre-downloaded the patch already, I change to the patching directory which in my case is hosted on the external share. And as you can see inside, there's one, just one subdirectory, 277 and so on. So I change it to that directory. Next step is I verify that I have the correct OPatch version. So minimum version is six. I have already version 12, so that's good. And afterwards, I have to do the OPatch prerequisites check which I just take from the readme. So the pre-check is completed. So you see OPEC succeeded and that pre-check is passed. So there's enough space and the right requirements. And I use OPEC apply. And OPEC apply applies not a patch. So I just sit in the directory on the external share and I call OPEC in my Oracle home with the apply option. And it again does some pre-checks. And once the pre-checks are completed, it will ask me the usual thing if I want to proceed first, and then if I would like to get additional information from support. So I say no, I'm fine, I can stay uninformed. And is my system ready for patching? It is ready for patching. And then it starts patching the Oracle Core RDBS, of course takes a second longer than the other things. So it's not waiting or halting here, it just takes a bit for the breathing operation in the background. And once this part is completed, it will give me a success message in a few seconds. Oh, patch succeeded, log files are there. So now I have to apply also the changes to my database. So I log on to the database, start it up, or I could first also have changed into the RDBMS admin directory. I do it the other way around. The readme has it in the correct order. I do it in the wrong order here. So I have to exit SQL plus again, change to the RDBMS admin directory in my Oracle home, and then go back into SQL plus again. And in SQL plus I call now a cut bundle script, cut bundle SQL with PSU apply parameters, and this puts now the changes into my database. So this was a quick run. You see, it's a fairly simple task, applying the July 2018 bundle PSU to my 4 database. Thanks a lot and goodbye.